Hello and thank you very much for joining me today and today I'm going to be talking about the simple seven keys that help you maintain lasting health that most of us know but don't always seem to follow. Now how do we know that most of us don't follow them because 70% of the human global population is currently suffering from at least one chronic disease which includes heart disease, asthma, Alzheimer's, diabetes, COPD and more and the percentage is even higher if you're living in, a, in the western world because it's a global uh, percentage so and every day we hear about a new uh, miracle pill that comes out that helps people because we're always looking to live uh, longer and to look better and to heal from some kind of disease when actually we have all the answers right in front of us many of us fail to see that the secret to all we seek has been within our reach all along. In fact, the only one controlling how young you feel, the state of your health, and your level of happiness is yourself. We all have access to the secrets of lasting health all along, so why don't we just follow them? Well, first let's cover what the keys to health and longevity are so we understand them. The first one is breathing. Stress doesn't just affect us emotionally, but it also affects us physically. And if left unchecked, it can lead to so many diseases, including most of the chronic diseases. And it can also lead to many hormonal problems as well. Now the stress from anxiety can actually make you feel really, really sick. And all we have to do to manage our stress is just breathe. Take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. Take, do some breathing techniques and it really, really calms the nerves, relaxes the muscles and lowers blood pressure and has so many benefits. Uh, according to a study done in Italy, uh, breathing techniques not only help reduce stress, they also improve the mood. So it's just an excellent, simple way. You can do it everywhere you are. Nobody even notices and it makes you feel better and it helps reduce stress. So the next one is proper diet. You have to make good food choices, eat foods that were meant for humans. No matter how many confusing articles are out there, there is only one single diet that is made and suitable for our species. And once you follow this diet, you will feel, look, and even think much better because our diet affects every aspect of our being from the expression of our genes, determining which diseases we will suffer from, to the length of our telomeres, determining how long we will live and how long we will remain in a healthy condition. So if you want more information on the Ideal Diet for Humans, you can visit my website at the Gorilla Diet forward slash food pyramid, or you can watch my TEDx talk. And the link is below. Now, once you know which foods you should eat and should star on your menu, you should try to steer clear of anything that is processed. Load up on whole foods, whole vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, as well as legumes and whole grains because the human body was designed to consume these foods. When eating junk foods, added sugars, chemicals or foods with GMOs, you're introducing substances to your body that your body doesn't recognize and it wasn't designed to cope with. So when in small amounts, the body will surely cope. But if this is food that you're consuming on a daily basis, then your body will have more difficulty attending to your health. So you want to eat foods that are good for you, good for your microbiome, and that strengthen your immune system. So the next key is to have sufficient hydration. Water influences all of our body processes and the human body needs external sources of hydration to meet its needs unlike some other species, including gorillas, which get all of their hydration needs from the diet. We have no body hair, and this allows us to sweat and uh, remove all excess heat, which is very helpful for us in hot weather conditions. But these fluids that are dissipated through sweat must be replaced. And water is very, very important, helps you dissolve fat and soluble fiber. It lowers the incidence for many types of cancer, including bladder cancer, and it keeps your body excretions regular. So how much water do you need to drink? The formula is very, very simple. Times your body weight in kilograms by 0.14. And then you have the number of cups you need to drink per day. Very simple. Okay, so that's your weight in kilograms, you can find a conversion uh, website to do that. Your weight in kilograms 
times 0.4 and it gives you the amount of cups you need to drink of water per day. Okay, the fourth key is to get sufficient rest. It's not enough to get the right amount of sleep, you have to get quality sleep. Now sleep helps restore your energy, repairs your, your tissues and including muscle tissues. It's essential for proper brain functioning, learning, and memory. Without sufficient sleep, your mood dips, your self-control, you don't, you lose it, and you have difficulty concentrating and paying attention. And all of these conditions lower the quality of your life. They lower the quality of your health, your relationships, your productivity. So really they have an effect on all of your life. Okay, so the fifth key is to get sufficient sunshine. Now sunshine offers vitamin D, which your body requires for almost every organ and function of your body because vitamin D is not really a vitamin, it's actually a hormone. And I go into that in another article, which I called the ultimate uh, guide to vitamin D. Very interesting, lots of information there. So vitamin D influences the expression of genes because it is needed for all cell re renewal and protein transcription due to its role in allowing access to the DNA of the cell and allowing the cells to get this information which is required for protein production. Now, vitamin D was part of our lives throughout most of our history, living on the savanna grasslands in Africa until many of our ancestors migrated out of Africa 60,000 years ago. Now, previously, we had sufficient and regular exposure of our skin to sun, allowing our body to produce an adequate amount of vitamin D. And this goes through, through a precursor, the vitamin, it, it goes into the liver and the kidneys to produce vitamin D for use in the body. So now we are spending most of our hours inside offices, inside homes, and most of us live in places that are not exactly on the equator. So in the winter, we can't get sufficient exposure to the UV light that provides this vitamin D. So we have to supplement for vitamin D so that we don't suffer the consequences. Very important. Now the sixth key to health and longevity is attitude, of course. Your body and mind are connected and chronic negativity, a judgmental attitude and prolonged stress will definitely comprise your immu immune system. And studies have shown that those with a more positive attitude are less likely to become sick or stressed and they're more likely to live a happy life. The more positive your outlook, the more satisfied you are with life. It's very simple. So life satisfaction and positivity ultimately lead you to master your mind. And the more you have control over your mind, the happier you will be because uh, the amount of control you feel uh, is the amount of happiness you feel as well. So when you're in a better attitude also, you will be making better choices for your health and your well-being and so you will live more in line with a healthy life. Now, the seventh one is exercise. Exercise also influences every organ of the body and it makes us more relaxed, more productive, and even smarter. And we actually need it to get our body moving. We need to get our body moving. And even if you think it's not your thing, all you have to really do is just walk or swim or some kind of um, endurance exercise for 30 minutes a day. Really, that's not difficult. If you watch a lot of TV, then instead of watching half an hour, get off your sofa and just for a half an hour, go do some exercise. It's really not that difficult. And if you, you want to walk, you just 30 minutes from the moment you leave your sofa until you come back. You can listen to YouTube, you can listen to my channel, um, you can just do anything while you're walking, you can even talk on the phone, and then you're doing your exercise. So. This is very important as well. Now that we all know what these keys are very well, what is stopping you from doing them regularly and incorporating them in your life? If something is holding you back, maybe you need some help. And if you would like that help, I wrote a, a five book series about making proper choices. It's called Rejoice Every Choice because I made so many bad mistakes and bad choices in my life then I wrote a whole series of how to make proper choices through all the research and understanding that I went through and my personal experience. So if you would like to look into these books, you have them on my website under the Rejoice Every Choice book series tab under my books and products. So 
Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel um, on YouTube where I give health information every single week. And you're also welcome to visit my blog, www.thegorilladiet.com, where you have lots of health and nutrition information. Thank you very much for joining.